Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Jet's instructional videos. Completely unscripted, unedited, you get pure, raw, naked video. Anyway, today I'm here to talk about setting up the ubiquitous Mystery 30 Amp ESC for uh, use in a boat. Now these things, these things are cheap. That's what I like about the, the smaller boats. You can run cheap equipment. I've seen these things for close to $5 on eBay. I'm sure the machine that makes them, when you turn off the machine, several hundred roll off the conveyor belt before it stops turning. I mean, these are just everywhere. They're dime a dozen and they work they work perfectly fine so for our applications we're going to do these now we're going to we're going to put water cooling on this today and then i'm going to talk about waterproofing it so water cooling it you know they make a couple of sizes of these blocks i'm going to cool some of these 40 amp speed controls it's actually the same speed control other than uh, if you take a look other than they've added a couple more FETs on it, the field effect transistors. Anyway, uh, it's the same same piece of equipment. So simply said, you see what I did on this one? You cut off that portion of the uh, shrink tube that exposes this aluminum plate. This aluminum plate is attached to the FETs on the, the FET board here and acts as a heat sink. What we're going to do is we're going to amplify that heat sink. Uh, what you want to do is you need some thermally conductive adhesive. This is an epoxy that you'll mix up. In fact, I use this as a mixing board right here. Mix up some epoxy and epoxy that, that baby down right there. But now you see what happened here. We've got a couple of little openings here in the shrink tube between the shrink tube and the plate. Don't worry about that. We're going to fix that later. So this gets glued down to here. Now here's here's what I like to use for waterproofing. This liquid tape. Now this stuff is thick and gooey and I generally use one of these coffee stirrers to apply it. And it'll take several applications um, for example, this one that has the single capacitor back here, it'll ooze in there and fill in. And the same thing over here on the motor lead ends, it'll fill in there. So dab some in, it'll flow a little bit and dab some more in. It's electric tape. It's not going to hurt anything on the circuit board. So try not to get any in there, but uh, if you do, it won't hurt. And you fill those up with epoxy, or not epoxy, this stuff, liquid tape, and bingo, you have a speed control suitable for marine use. These things are, they program the throttle themselves, so they work just fine with a pistol radio or an aircraft radio. In fact, I think they use these things on, uh, on a lot of drones. So, there you go. Uh... Thanks for watching my short little video, and I'm still wondering if the camera angle is pointed at what I'm holding here. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.